Hello everyone and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So in this video we want to prove that 2 times n to the power of 3 belongs to little omega of n. And in the green rectangle here I have the definition of what it means for a function that we call f of n to belong to little omega of another function that we're going to call g of n. And it states that the function f of n belongs to, and that's the symbol for belong to right there, little omega of g of n, if for any c value, so c is some constant value greater than 0, there exists an integer k, and of course k is an integer, such that the function f of n is greater than that constant value c times the function g of n for all values of n that is or that are greater than or equal to k. All right, so let's go ahead and try to solve this. So the first thing that we need to do is identify our function f of n. So f of n is equal to 2 times n to the power of 3. And then we need to identify our function g of n. And g of n is equal to n. All right. And I got them both from the problem above. Okay. Now, let's rewrite this equation. So we're going to rewrite um, f of n. is greater than some constant c times g of n for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right, and now let's plug in our values for f of n and g of n. So if I rewrite the equation, then we get 2 times n cubed is greater than c times n for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right. So now let's try to get that. Uh, well, let's see here. There's a couple ways we can do this. Um, one way is to uh, divide both sides by n. So now we get 2 times n squared is greater than our constant c. And this is for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right. And let's see here. Um, let's, let's try to get that, that value n by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And so now we get n squared is greater than c divided by 2 for all values of n greater than or equal to k. And now let's take the square root of both sides. So we get n is greater than the square root of c divided by 2. And this is for all values of n greater than or equal to k. So this tells us that we just need to choose a k value that's greater than the square root of c divided by 2. All right. So in red here, I'll put choose a value for k greater than the square root of c divided by 2. All right. And let's put an example here. Um, for example, k will be equal to the square root of c divided by 2 plus 1. Okay. So that's a value that's greater than the square root of c divided by 2. 
And if we do that and we plug this back into our equation, no matter what C is, the, the problem um, that f of n is greater than c times g of n will always be true for all values of n greater than or equal to k. So let me give you an example here. Let's, uh, let's also choose c to be equal to 2. All right. And now let's rewrite our equation. So I'm going to erase what we've done here so far all the way up to that very first equation. All right, and now let's rewrite this by plugging in the values for C, K, and for F of N. So this is equal to two times N to the power of three, greater than, let's see our C values two now, and then we have G of N, so G of N is N, and this is for all values of n greater than or equal to the uh, square root of c divided by 2 plus 1. And again, we said that that c value is actually 2. So let's rewrite this and put 2 divided by 2. Okay. So now if we rewrite this again, we get 2 times n cubed is greater than 2 times n for all values of n greater than or equal to the square root of 1 plus 1. And let's rewrite this one more time. So we get 2 times n cubed is greater than 2 times n for all values of n greater than or equal to uh, 2. Okay. And that's definitely true. So uh, if you still don't see it, let's divide both sides by n for the equation here. So we get 2 times n squared is greater than 2 for all values of n greater than or equal to 2. And what we can do is we can also divide both sides by 2. So if we rewrite this equation again, we get n squared is greater than 1. And this is for all values of n greater than or equal to 2. So n is going to start off at 2. And that's already greater than 1. But we're going to square it. So uh, it's going to, the lowest value that this, this equation um, will have, or at least this side of the equation, the left side, will be 2 squared, so 4. So this will always be true. All right? So now I'm going to put in red here we're going to put uh, or maybe I choose black we're going to put therefore I'm going to put three dots for therefore our function f of n belongs to little omega of g of n which implies that 2 times n cubed belongs to little omega of n okay and that is our answer so thank you everyone and please leave any questions you have in the comment section um, when we chose the c value here it was just some arbitrary number it was just an example just to show you guys that uh, what we did was true if you couldn't see it immediately and um, please uh, hit that like button if you found this video helpful and click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel for more videos on computer science, on uh, data structures, on mathematics. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. And as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.